All right, uh, he plays Dr. Sam Bennett on the popular drama series Private Practice and is a terrific actor, Tay Diggs. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, He's a daddy. Hey, Good morning, folks. Another one of these New York actors who fled the city, went out to Hollywood, became uh, a big star. Come on. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about it, okay? You grew up in Rochester, New York. Upstate New York. Right. Yes, sir. And your mom was in community theater. There she is right there. Well, I saw her. She right is right there. there. Look at Can her. You get a shot of her. Mr. Diggs, and right Andy. over there. How you doing? Right, right, right. <laughs> so she started it for you. She gave you the bug, you think? She did, yeah. She started in community theater and then uh, ended up going back to school. Raised us. I have uh, four brothers and sisters. Uh, she raised us all and then went back to school for theater and dance, right? Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'd always go to her rehearsals, and that's that's where I. Got Boy, you the couldn't ball. miss after seeing all that, no, right? Sure. No, such but an amazing energy. They had a performing arts. High school up there in Rochester, in Rochester too. Yeah, no Rochester uh, School of Performing Arts. Yeah. yeah. And did you ever try to recreate the scene from Fame? You know, with the dancing outside. And we, 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 everybody did that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a really, a really, a really great place. What were some of the early up. jobs you had, Tay? I oh, I was everything from a janitor. I made sandwiches in, in I, theaters uh, and so on. Or? Uh, no, just restaurants. Uh -huh. Worked at Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, I worked uh, at Tokyo Disneyland for a bit. No I'm kidding. kidding. Yeah. All the way out there. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. I was uh, had to wear all these crazy, <laughs> crazy outfits, and it was called uh, the show was called Sebastian's Caribbean Carnival. <laughs> in Japan, uh -huh. and uh, you know the crab from yeah, sure, uh, the little you do the little the mermaid, kids. right? Yeah. Yes, and I was the uh, the MC that would sing, you know, Deo and all those. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> great! Crazy <laughs> Caribbean Caribbean songs. Japanese kids go crazy over the it Disney was, characters. It's yes, yeah. yes. Disney characters are like it's like Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Over there. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Crazy. Wow. And speaking of little kids, yes. don't we have I a little one in your house? Yes, the little one. Old? Yeah, I mean, he's bigger. First little baby there. He's bigger than that now. He's five months. What's the baby's name? Walker Nathaniel Diggs. Walker Nathaniel. Yes. Well, excuse us. Yes, he's Whoa. destined for great things. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a terrific name, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he's a terrific kid. So anyway, what's new with uh, private practice? Private How many practice. years you're in that? Now, that was a spinoff of Grey's Anatomy. Yes, right. sir. Yeah. Third, Third season, right? Third season. Third season. Mm. Third season. It's Everything an amazing how these doctors, you know, series. There, I mean, well, everybody can relate to them because everybody has a, had an experience in a hospital or at a doctor's office mm -hmm. over but the now, years. Do you have to learn medical jargon? We do. We do, and it's tough. That, that's something that I, that I struggle with, with, so I always have to get the, the script a couple of times, a couple of days ahead, and just memorize these words because, especially this season, do you they're ever, trying to be very accurate. Do you ever feel like you could perform some of the procedures that you talk about? <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, but but you get really nervous when they set you up with the fake heart and the fake blood, and because it's really set up as if it were really happening. Yeah. And uh, and I'll be performing, and I'll I'll notice that my hands are, <laughs> my hands are shaking. Um, it's uh, it's nerve wracking. Oh, well, it's gosh. a good thing your doctor wasn't a plastic surgeon. Exactly. <laughs> Now your character is dealing with a 15-year-old daughter who's yes, uh, pregnant. Yes, and, uh, Dr. Sam ben Bennett has a pregnant 15-year-old daughter mm. who wants to get married. So it's... Uh, so he must did, wonder how Let me ask you. Exactly. Now, this is all written, of course, but right. what is the theory of uh, how do you answer a, a plea like that? I want to marry him. <sighs> what well, is your character saying? I mean, because I've been, you know, as an actor, you try to figure out what you would do as a, you know, as, as, as you know, your own... When little Nathaniel Walker, or Walker Nathaniel, Ooh, whatever his name is, boy. grows up, you know? I would whoop his tail. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, just kidding, just kidding. Uh, I think that the, the, the important thing that they're, they're trying to put forth in the show is they, they, they don't want to disrupt the family. Mm. So they think if, if they allow, you know, uh, uh, their, their child to get married, the child will will stay close to them as opposed to rebelling and running off and you right. know, and not, not, not being able to, uh, to control her. So. Well, let's take another look at uh, Tay Diggs and okay. see what's going on in private practice. Here we go. What do you want to say? I want to tell them, stop. Don't make this any worse. I just tried to give that speech. Patient of Pete's gave birth to a preemie 25 weeks. Just 
So many problems. Best case scenario, it lives in the NICU until I can't do any more surgeries or give it any more drugs. Are you and Pete in sync? You said it was Pete's patient, right? Right. It is. But we're not in sync. I'm about to go remove most of the baby's intestinal tract because the parents are hoping for a miracle and Pete doesn't want to take that away from them and I couldn't say no, so I gotta clear my schedule and head back to the hospital. Mm, I get that. Doing things you don't want to do. I'm supposed to make this big speech that makes everybody feel good about the wedding. Pretend like everything's okay. Thursday nights, 10 o'clock on ABC. Hey, good to see you again, buddy. Good to see you all. Yeah, absolutely.